I feel so at home here. I know these halls like the back of my hand. <laughs> the homes in our next museum are a bit less familiar. If I were an alien, I would wonder why humans are always trying to fly away from their planet. The Air and Space Museum can't answer that question exactly, but it can show us the radical new kinds of homes we've built to shelter us out in the cosmos. Yeah, looks to be a forest fire down there in the Dakotas. Clean that up. I'll be back in uh, an hour. Where are you going? Around the world. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> the Smithsonian Institution's National Air and Space Museum houses the ultimate home away from home. It's not this one. It's this one. The spacesuit is an impressive mobile home that provides your basic intergalactic necessities. Astronauts can work for hours in these marvels of engineering. And yes, they can do everything in the spacesuit. Thanks to the urine collection and transfer assembly, they can even, you know, you know. Yeah, right in the suit. After the astronauts do their business in their spacesuits, the suits are stored in the Air and Space Museum's off-site facility. I've come to pay my respects. <laughs> when dealing with the space people, it's important to arrive in style. I feel like I'm on the tarmac of some cool war movie set in the 40s. But this is where most of the Air and Space Museum's artifacts are stored. Amanda Young has been high priestess of the spacesuit collection for over 13 years. She's a pioneer in spacesuit conservation. Now, if I'm not wearing this suit when I go out in space, what happens to me? You'll die. How quickly? Very. 